welcome back to Aspire the Simple Life, Janelle's Life blog. Today we're going to make chicken brie. So here we go. We're going to take four adobo because they are very tiny. You can see these guys in the package. And then we're going to use, of course, ancho chilies, which of course look like wrinkled up prunes. Um, I'm gonna use a cinnamon stick. Guadalajara chilies, and they just look like these things, but also New Mexican chilies look kind of similar as being the same. And we're going to use two of those, but three of the anchos, and basically what I'm going to do is take my food processor and take the little toppies off. Throw my tops in the trash can, but you can also save them if you really want to um, and put them in your compost pile. But I am going to drop all the seeds into the trash. I have composted these before, it does work. Um, but I'm gonna stick this in the blender. So let's start that. So we've got our blender ready to go and we're gonna just take off all the tops. If you can't get the seeds out, then just, you know, tear them in half. If you really want to go to the whole thing about roasting the chilies and putting them into a water bath, before you do this step, you can, that's up to you. I find that when you cut them into a powder, you can skip most of the other step of trying to put them into a boiling thing of water. So I just do it this way. If you want to leave the seeds in there, the ancho ones um, or the poblano ones have uh, a hotter kind of chili too. You can actually leave that in there if you want it more spicier. Or if you don't want it so spicy, then you know take the chili parts out. So basically all I'm doing is taking this off. taking all the seeds off like this, dumping them out. These ones are kind of hard because um, of how tiny these are. So when it comes to these ones, sometimes, you know, you just do your best. And then if you have seeds in there, who cares? Just throw them in there. You want a little bit of spice, right? A little bit of spice. And then of course, these ones are kind of hard too, just because of how wrinkly, pruney they look. Um, but just do your best to get, at least get the top off of it because the tops don't really taste the greatest. But once you get them out, a lot of times it's okay. Um, if you can't get them to blend up into a nice powder form, you can also stick these in with a little bit of water or whatever kind of uh, water or chicken broth or whatever that you're going to be using for this.
And you can sit here and pull them all out if you really want to, but I'm not gonna sit here and like scrape them out with my finger. So I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I forgot to grab one thing. So, you need to put your lid on, of course, onto the blender and give it a nice, good blend. On right that's pretty good so i have my chicken all unwrapped you can use whatever kind of chicken you want but i did not take the bones out because as you cook them it will be easier to take them out at the end so we are going to put a whole cinnamon stick in there we're going to put whole bay leaves in here and don't worry you'll find them later i always do i'm gonna put probably two bay leaves in there and then um, to this, we're gonna add some other things like we're gonna add some peppercorns. We're gonna add some garlic. Lots of garlic. We're going to add some adobo, and I'm adding a lot of adobo, guys. I want this really to be soaked into the sauce. I am going to add a little bit of paprika, too. <coughs> we are going to add some Mexican oregano. some cumin and of course we're going to add our chilies One other thing that I'm going to also add in here is some apple cider vinegar. Just a splash like that. That's probably like a tablespoon. And then I'm also going to add to this one, we're gonna add chicken broth. And we're gonna fill it all the way up or at least all the way to about
over the top anyway. I already got chilies all over me. Should really start wearing my apron. Really should start wearing my apron. Okay. So this is probably full enough anyway to make the um, Instapot go into um, pressure cooker mode. So that is all. And then after <coughs> it's done, then we can assemble our chicken burrito tacos which we are going to be using corn tortillas today. And you wanna put this in for about three hours and then after the three hours is up, put it on a slow cook until you're ready to use it and taking out all the bones and stuff. Um, it will make it taste a lot better the longer that you cook it. And if you don't have time to make it right away, then that's the next best thing. So. We're going to put it on three hours and then we're going to do our cooking. We may even go into 24 hours with our cooking because of the flavors and stuff. Um, it just makes it taste a lot better. So we'll be back. You don't need me to put it in my Ninja and put it on the, the pressure cooker setting. Um, like I said, it's three hours. And then after that, slow cooking if you like. Um, it may take longer, just check it after the three hours and then you can always um, put it in up to, I don't know, four hours to six if you really want to um, while you guys are, you know, out doing your life. So anyway, we'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay guys, so we got our shredded chicken. Make sure you get all the bones out, of course. And then of course we have our sauce. I added a, two more things of our 32 ounces of chicken broth in here so I can, you know, soak my little corn tortillas. And then I've got my pepper jack. This is what I like to eat it. You
So you have to fry your tortilla in order to get it to do the whole folding thing. Also, I ended up putting my coleslaw and mix it in with my chicken to make it easier. And then another thing that I do is I put a bunch of tortillas, uh, corn tortillas in here. And then I'm just using a Monterey spicy kind of jack cheese. Um, you can put whatever you want in them. You know, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy. And then, of course, when I'm doing all of my um, pieces, I have, of course, my sauce, which is right in here. And then I'll have this together in my thermos or in my, my bag. Okay. So I hope that you guys um, got to kind of look at this, see how you do it. You do have to fry these almost in order to make them bend. It's just how corn tortillas work. Um, that's the secret of making them not break and stuff, unfortunately. That's what you have to do. So that's why I keep turning it over and turning it over and turning it over. And the sauce puts flavor into the tortilla or the corn tortilla. And that's what makes it evil to, you know, get it to fold. So it just needs to fry for a minute or so before you can actually fold it up. Um, they do come out a little crispier that way too, almost like a taco would. But if you put them into like a, I don't know, a uh, Ziploc bag or something, it will be fine. It will moisten it back up again, but if you like them kind of crispier, then you keep them where they are. So anyway, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys inspire to do something wonderful in your life, no matter what it is, and inspire other people to do something wonderful in theirs. And I appreciate all of my new subscribers. Hey, we're changing some things around on the channel. I am now um, going to start doing um blogging i'll try to do a video four times a week the fourth video is going to now be a live video and that will be kind of like our um tea time or whatever so i think that's what we're gonna start to do and then um we're not going to do a video on friday saturday sunday so that i can use those times to get our um, other videos done for the week. So that is what we're going to start doing. And, um, that way you can have videos at least four times a week. Um, uh, maybe we'll get to seven days, one of these days, but unfortunately because I work full time, it doesn't work that way. So anyway, we'll see you next time on Inspire the Simple Life, Janelle's Life Blog. I appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you next time.